Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with Evil West on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on Evil Difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we finally got some coils and we've repaired the glamour disruptor inside of our zapper so we can now remove the glamours that the vampires create to hide locations that they don't want anyone to find. We also found in the same area as the coils a old, completely rotten corpse of a dinosaur, basically a skeleton. And we've uh, found out that basically the vampires have been using prehistoric dinosaurs to uh, feast on with their leeches to collect ancient blood and then the leeches transport that blood to other areas where Felicity will give that blood to her army and make them stronger. So we've now come to the sawmill, an area that uh, Agent Bloom told us about a couple of videos back and now that we can destroy glamours we was able to get rid of the glamour and we've started exploring and there's been a ton of leeches everywhere and a ton of blood everywhere so we're trying to find out what's going on and then eventually we're probably going to find some sort of dinosaur where all of these leeches are getting the blood from and uh, I guess we'll deal with a dinosaur not like a boss fight or anything like deal with a dinosaur get rid of the corpse and uh, obviously we have to do the boss fight that I mentioned in the previous video where we have to fight the parasite so it's going to be a very eventful video but before we do that it looks like we're about to get attacked by a couple of weird looking creepers but uh, we have to go through a little foresty area first and uh, that foresty area has got a couple of twists and turns and you can get yourself a couple of uh, couple of collectibles and stuff. Oh shit, wrong button. Just dealing with these all over here so up and uh deal with the uh, arsehole spitting bombs at me in a minute. You cheeky bastard. You see that? You ran at me, chucked one on the floor and then quickly sw swerved to the right. <laughs> what a piece of shit. I really hate these guys so much. I hate them. Well, they're not really tough, are they, Jesse? They, they are pretty damn weak. Except for those guys. But that's purely because they stand in shit locations throwing bombs at me. If you had somebody in World War II hiding behind a, a bunch of sandbags throwing 30 or so grenades at you, they're going to be a relatively annoying enemy, aren't they? <laughs> but it doesn't mean they're tough. It just means they're an absolute pussy. That's what it bloody means. Man, I think I've spoke about this a couple of times over the last like nearly 10 years I've been doing gaming videos. But uh, one thing I always used to do, every time I played Call of Duty Guess I'm on World of War, uh, I would always, without foul, every single match I did, especially in stuff like Search and Destroy, where you only get one health, I would always get two kills with a bouncing Betty every time. Man, I, I loved I loved Call of Duty World at War. Not really bothered about Call of Duty any war, anymore, but back in the day I loved Call of Duty World at War. I was in a clan. All of my clan members, were, we, were all, we were all from Essex, you know, so uh, I uh, randomly met them on the game one day and I, I heard them speak and I was like, yeah, they're from Essex. <laughs> and we started talking and then we made a clan and we, we played pretty damn well. Back in the days of sharing DLC, one of us would buy it and share it with the rest. You can't do that no more, they stopped it from working. <laughs> it's, it's technically naughty, but you know, if I can help out my uh, fellow gamers by giving them some free DLC, I would do it. <laughs> Obviously, you have to trust them with your password, though, so only do it with people you really trust. It doesn't work anymore, but back then, you had to do it with people you really trusted, or your own family and friends and stuff like that. Ah, good old days. And then, obviously, you had the Nazi zombies. Brilliant. I loved Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4, I got after World of War, and that was because my clan were like, hey, Beowulf, get Call of Duty 4. It's brilliant. And it was all right, but I did prefer World of War, because oh, I like the whole World War 2 vibe. Who fattened you up? You know who fattened them up? Some big old weird dinosaur. Right, this is the area where we've got multiple ways we can take. We've got to make sure we don't leave anything behind. Because there's also a... There's also a trophy for collecting all the money as well. Oh, fucking hell! Ah! Jesus! What are you protecting? Fuck. That was horrible. Alright, we won't go that way yet. I think we'll go 
this way first. It's not a big deal if I miss anything. Well, it's a big deal if I miss, like, um, if I miss any uh, money. But if I miss any collectibles, I don't care about that. But you want to find the money, and also you want to unlock the perks. Because some of the perks are really good. As you've seen, we've, uh, we've unlocked two very good perks from these chests. The, uh, the rare chests. We've got the one that does 20, like this one right here. That's probably good as well. Boom balls. Don't know what it does, but it's probably good. So you want to make sure you find these. But the collectibles, yeah. Not too bothered about that. How do we get up there, then? Must be around here, right? Eh? I sounded Canadian then, didn't I? <laughs> Must be around here, eh? It's a boot time that we nearly reached this boss. Alright, that one was terrible. I apologise. How the hell do I get up there, then? Oh, hang on a minute. I can shoot sign, can't I? Oh, no, we have to do it from over here. Oh, maybe I have to do it before I jump down. Oh, for God's sakes, I... Yeah, I think I might have had to have done it. No. Did I? No. Well, how the fuck do I get to it, then? Why can't I shoot that down? No, it's something you have to swing from, so we need to be up on... On, like, there. Yeah. Oh, God knows, Wolf more Bets. I might have had to have done that before. <laughs> well, it's only a bag of money. It's not too bad, I guess. I know, bloody hell. Oh, look at that one. That's not, it looks like a, uh, an alien queen's head from Aliens. <laughs> I, th I think it was, uh, I think um, there was a rumor that, um, Creative Assembly, the ones who make uh, Total War games, but also made Aliens Isolation. I swear there was a rumour that they're working on another Alien game. If that is the case, I cannot wait for that. We have got that little uh, top-down shooter strategy sort of game. Uh, was it Alien Descent or whatever that comes out this year? So that like, looks pretty good, but uh, I do prefer like the, uh, the the actual, you know, full-on story adventure games. The strategy games are alright, but I like the uh, further story ones. Being up close with a, uh, being up and close with an alien, in first person or something like that. Which I didn't come over in, eh? Lovely. Can I, um... Oh, it's going to make me go down over here, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Right where all the little creepery guys are. Oh, sweet. That is a perfect time to level up. Right, let's have a look then. Okay, what are the boom balls? Pickups can be shot by a rifle or a crossbow to cause an explosion that damages nearby enemies. I mean, I, I suppose that is pretty good. Because if you're, if you're on full health and there's a ton of like health everywhere, you can shoot the health pickups or the uh, energy pickups. Or does it only work on energy pickups? No, it just says pickups, so I guess that means all pickups. I suppose that could be pretty useful. Might want to have a look at... Oh. Might as well grab this. Yeah, when I run and smack somebody, which I do that just naturally by playing. So it's good to have that, I guess. Does a little bit of splash damage to other enemies. Very nice. Okay, that's where we need to go over there. I think. Yeah, we've got to go over... The... Where, where, where am I? I'm getting all... There we go. Okay, we've got to go over there. So we want to go this way now. And get the rest of the collectibles that we missed. Every single tree is covered with those damn leeches. 
I don't know why. Beautiful. Well, no, we, we might not might not be missing anything. Can I get back up to the higher level now? Probably not. Yeah, we're just going to have to deal with leaving some of those things behind. Very bloody annoying, though. I, I don't know. I don't know how I managed to miss that. I must have missed that when I was uh, talking about Call of Duty. That's my own fault. <laughs> my own bloody fault. The deeper in this forest, the more blood traces I see. That's never a good sign. I know, Jesse. I know. So glad you keep telling me, mate. I'm so glad. <sighs> Always got to stick to the exact path, ain't ya? Pain in the ass. Can't just like, you know, jump down a little bit of a cliff. It's not that big of a deal, mate. I thought somebody was killing them now. I was what's going on over there? <laughs> But they were being killed by the uh, bush. Okay. Come on, bushes. We ain't got time for all this. We've got a boss to die on 35 times. Every time we hear a giggle, there's normally a collectible around. Which it doesn't look like there is, unless I'm being very blind. Oh, what the hell? Why don't you pick it up? There we go. Make me waste some energy for nothing. Son of a... Another ancient beast. Fucking great. Yeah, as I already spoiled. I don't think it was really much of a spoiler, but yeah, here's uh, an ancient dinosaur. As you can see, this one's not uh, completely dry. It's actually still somewhat, uh, you know, full of blood. So all these leeches are getting ancient blood from it, and the Felicity is using it to uh, feed her army, and I guess make them stronger. Having the uh, having the blood of a dinosaur going through your body that seems like pretty damn good stuff. Doesn't look to be long dead. Like, imagine if, uh, you know, a uh, black pudding, which is made from uh, pig's blood. I think it's pig's blood. Um, imagine having a uh, black pudding made from dinosaur blood. Now, that would definitely put some good stuff in your body. <laughs> like T-Rex blood. Imagine that. Whew. That's a hell of a tooth. Yes, it is, Jesse. Okay, we are getting pretty close to the Parasite now, so we should have quite a bit of time to fight this guy. Ah, uh, we've got to do another battle first by the looks of it. Of course we don't. Trip into its guts. Great. Man, stop bringing these poppy guys out. And also, stop bringing out the, the ball throwing guys. And also, Jesse, pull the guy over, you fucker. I just took a ridiculous amount of damage. It's still very unresponsive when you try and pull enemies towards you. It's very unresponsive. It's an absolute pain in the ass. I, I, I moaned about this quite a lot a couple of videos back. It's been going all right for the last few videos, but um, yeah, now it's, uh, it's, it's starting to try and do it again. Probably because we're about to reach a boss, you know. <laughs> God, 
That's so quick. There we go. Oh. There we go. At least we'll be full health now. If you're wondering why I didn't use my like crippling rod or anything then to like stun all the enemies, it's mostly because I want to make sure it's off charge when we reach the boss. Because basically we're gonna we're gonna fight the boss and we're not gonna really use any of our uh, special abilities until phase three. Because if we use our special abilities during phase three, we can like deal with some of the stuff very quickly and it will make it a hundred times easier. I'll explain the boss once we get near to it. There's not too much stuff that happens with this boss. It's just phase three. So much stuff is going on. It's very easy for you to die instantly. And because basically everything will kill you at one in one hit on this difficult way, or maybe two hits, that's what makes it so difficult. Because there's just so much going on. You even slightly balls it up, then that's it. You're dead. <laughs> Christ, what a stink. You should, you should be celebrating that none of these leeches are trying to eat you. Alright, yep, yeah, I think we're at the boss now. Yep, yeah, this is the boss. Right, so basically, uh, I don't even know what this boss is supposed to be. It's like some sort of like flower. And you've got the main flower in the center and you've got two, uh, two um, tentacles at the side. The tentacles will dive at you, slam the ground a few times, just keep dodging it and eventually they'll get stuck. And then you can punch the shit out of them until eventually they die and blow up. Um, if you kill one tentacle before you kill the other one, the other tentacle will vanish for a bit and then the center flower will spit venom at you and you just got to dodge it until he stops doing it. Now uh, the tentacles, they do that slammy attack, they also like to sometimes uh, spit at you and then they have a little weak spot that appears that you can shoot and then it does damage to them and you don't have to worry about being shot at. So that's all you've got to worry about from the tentacles, they don't do anything else and when you kill both of them, the main flower opens up its mouth and you can shoot two weak spots and do big damage. Then between each phase, the uh, main flower drops rocks on you, just dodge the rocks, uh, just watch the floor and dodge them, just like a World of Warcraft boss fight. And then during the second, two and th third stage, uh, the, the main flower will put an egg in the middle that explodes and releases those little explodey guys that blow you up. That's the worst part of the fight, because if you forget that it's about to happen, then you die. But you want to save your charge ability, your uh, overcharge ability, and your um, stun crippling rod for stage three, because so much crap goes on in stage three, it's very easy to die. So save it for that. But we'll give it a go. I probably won't be talking for it during this boss fight, but... We'll see if we can get it done in one, but it's unlikely. It's a nightmare. I mean, do you call that a flower? I don't know. I said it was a flower, but I'm, I'm starting to think it ain't that. <laughs> but yeah, shoot those, then you stun them for a bit. But yeah, uh, they, they smash their head on the floor a couple of times. But eventually they'll get stuck. It's normally after uh, the third one. But when they uh, move away, uh, watch out. Oh, fuck. When they move... Oh, fuck. When they uh, take their head out of the ground, sometimes they bump into you a little bit. You do get a few bits of health during this fight. Normally, if you shoot their uh, math. But you want to try and time it. I'll see what I mean. That's what I was talking about. You want to try and time it where they both die together. Then you ain't got to worry about the main, uh, the main boss uh, spitting at you because it is, it is high damage if it hits you. Ah shit. Yep. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Right, heal yourself. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. I didn't want to use my heal yet. I wanted to save it. You want to try and be right at the other side of the arena before he does that, and then you can run all the way to the other side and you ain't got to worry about it. But I thought I might have been able to have killed this tentacle quickly <laughs> with a quick, with a quick cheeky uh, assault rifle shot. Right, now shoot these, and now just watch the ground. Don't stand in the red circles. Just like a World of Warcraft boss. If you play World of Warcraft, this is like a one-player World of Warcraft boss, basically. This bit becomes a bit more annoying uh, the second time he does it before stage three. That was 
Nice. Ah, the egg's been summoned there. You see what I mean? Like trying to dodge like the tentacles and trying to dodge the uh, the uh, ah, thingy guys as well. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Right, try and be all the way over here. Now, as when you run. For some reason, Jesse didn't run then. I've got no idea why, but if you run, see, by the time you get to the other side, by the time you get to the other side, um, he stops spitting again. Oh, you fucker! I shouldn't have healed then. Okay, this is the bad bit. So what you want to do is you want to hit one of the tentacles a little bit first, do a little bit of damage to them, then use the crippling rod so that you uh, stun them and then use your overcharge for them. Just need to do a little bit of damage to someone. Little bit of damage to someone. Right, now use the uh, crippling rod. Now overcharge. And you should be able to kill one tenth, maybe. Did I get it? I think I got it. Now watch out for uh, Glenn. No, 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 no. Now you've only got to worry about one tenth call. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, but I hate that. Go on. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! In one! <laughs> oh! Fucking suck it, mate. So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. Oh, more blood for Felicity now. You know, if we had set fire to that, um, to that uh, beast, then we could have uh, probably have killed that parasite without actually having to do a boss fight. <laughs> we could have just burned that dinosaur to begin with. What was the point in going in there? And we collected that water from outside of the dinosaur as well, so it's not even like we had to go in there to get that water. <laughs> Oh, oh well, I guess they just wanted to make it difficult for me. You have enough of bucks for an upgrade. Oh yeah, do we? Oh yeah, we just got money from killing a parasite. Oh. Alright, let's have a look what we've got then. 
Rifle damage increased by 20%. Now that is pretty good. And then we could also lower the uh, cooldown for the shotgun, which is also very good. Can you buy this upgrade before you buy the one before it? Because if you can, that's pretty good. If the enemy is shot with a boomstick right before attacking, they take double damage. Now that's good. Bit risky though, isn't it? I'm going to go with the extra damage for the rifle because I use this a lot more. So we're going to grab this. Yeah. And also, uh, we use this to take down like weak spots. So we're going to do 20% more damage every time we hit a weak spot as well. So that's good. And eventually we'll get the crossbow as well. But I don't think, yeah, this won't, this won't have no benefit on that. Because you'll be switching between your crossbow and your rifle. But we don't get the crossbow for a little while yet. Oh yeah. As always, make sure you search all the rooms every time you come back to the prison, like I said in the previous video, because there'll be new bags of money around and also uh, new collectibles. Actually, if you come up here, I think they actually mention your dad's door being shut, I think. Locked. Oh, hope my father's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you forgot, our father's possibly infected by uh, a vampire bite. So at the moment, we're locking him up just in case he turns. And also the, the double problem with it is whoever bit him, which would have probably been Velicity, uh, they have like a connection to the people they buy and they can like enter their minds and, you know, know where they are and what's going on. So they'll, she'll be able to read his mind basically and know what's going on here and where this place is and then attack it. So that's the problem with also the problem with our father being bitten. And on top of that, he's going to be a vampire and try and bite us himself. So... Fingers crossed he hasn't been. But either way, we've got Edgar currently searching for a cure. So, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a situation. But who knows? Who knows? Apologies, I keep wiping my nose. Flipping itchy as hell. I think it's from the uh, heating. You know, when you have the central heating on, it makes the house feel dry, doesn't it? So I think it's making my nose feel dry. So it's just itchy. Not a good combination with the eczema, central heating. Oh, there you are, Mr. Ritchie. Dr. Blackwell is waiting for you in the suite. Oh, thanks for telling me, buddy. Let's have a quick butchers around, grab up anything, have a chat with uh, Blackwell, and then, uh, oh, look, here we go. I know it's working, Birch, but we could sure use another one. The technology behind those coils is so sophisticated, I'm amazed I was able to get it working. Just wait your turn. And I thought we were friends. Why do you think I spend so much time singing your praises to Mr. Rentier? Jesus, Martin. Cut me some slack, for goodness sake. I'm under enough pressure as it is. Relax. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm blowing smoke up his ass. Yeah, I'm standing right here listening to you. <laughs> I think he wants his own zapper. I mean, if everybody had a zapper, we would kick some mega ass, to be honest. So uh, I, I would be happy if we uh, gave some zappers to people. Give one to Edgar. Give one to Dr. Blackwell, even though she's a doctor. She does seem like a bit of a badass, so she could have one too. She might be able to use it for like some medical reasons. I suppose she could, actually. Use it as like a uh, def defilibrator. What are they called? Defilibrator? You know the thing that you zap the heart with to uh, resuscitate people. Debilitator? Defibrillator? That thing. You know what I'm talking about. She could use a zapper for that. It's always a pain in the ass looking around, looking around for stuff every time we come back here. See what I mean? Look. <laughs> we have missed a couple of collectibles, but we have been doing pretty well with picking them up. Oh, she's upstairs in a little room. To be honest, I'm skeptical. You really think that's what Felicity was hiding in McCallum's? I wouldn't bet on it, but I wouldn't bet against it either. Well, that is what she was hiding, because I just found it. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Because I got some samples. Mine. It's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Debano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. 
the ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mickinac thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is they won't do it anymore. Assess William Retner's condition. Oh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, everybody just started screaming, so I'm pretty sure his condition isn't very good. <laughs> Unless he's died. I suppose that's a possibility as well. Do I have to look around for collectibles again? Because sometimes even after a loading screen like that, you have to look for more. <laughs> well, hopefully not. Alright, alright. Don't rush me. Look at the amount of gear I'm carrying. It's hard to walk. <laughs> Oh no. Bloody Virgil. Always in some sort of trouble. I heard shouts, sir. Uh, what's going on in the Fuck knows, mate. Davis. Fuck knows. doesn't kill us in our sleep. That link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest... Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. That's a big-ass shotgun. I think it just looks bigger because she's a little lady. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything, doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. That is true. That is true. Everybody at Calico has been pretty damn good so far. Found out about the dinosaurs and stuff that they're getting the blood from. Obviously repaired my gauntlet, even though, uh, even though Virgil, you did spend uh, a couple of weeks saying that you needed to repair this gauntlet and then you, for some reason, built a giant version of what I needed that wasn't portable and had nothing to do with what you needed to do. And then we finally went to find some coils to fix my uh, uh, gla uh, glamour disruptor. So I'm, I'm not even sure what you were doing, Virgil. But yeah, uh, Emily and uh, Scott are legends. But you, Virgil, you're a, bit, you're a bit in the middle, you are. You seem like a bit of a time waster, mate. All right, well... I guess I guess uh, Thingy has been gone for a while, Edgar. We ain't seen him in ages. Those are Edgar's. Must have found that plant here. How do you know that they're Edgar's footprints? Uh, does he have a very like unique foot <laughs> or very unique shoes? They could be anybody's footprints. 
I can't remember what this place was like. I think um, oh, I think we do see quite a couple, of, uh, uh, quite a few new enemies in this area actually. So that's a good thing about this area because lately we've been fighting the same blokes quite a few times. So I think we do see a couple of new guys, so that'll be nice. But um, yeah, I don't think there's any like main bosses or anything. Trail leads this way. Christ, wish I had a map of this place. <laughs> I wish I wish you had a map of any bloody place. You ain't got no maps in this game. I'm never a fan of that. I always like a map, even if it's just like a little like compass map in the corner. Just something, you know. Oh god. That sounds like trouble. Yep. Oh god. Well, everything's on cooldown from that boss fight. Oh shit, shit, shit. I didn't shoot him. Oh, he's gonna power them all up now. Brilliant. Although that flamethrower did some big damage. Oh, shotgun to the face. When they glow purple, it's because they've been powered up by that force. You're supposed to stop them before they do it, but obviously, you know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh, when they, when, they, when they fly into pieces after a shotgun shot, lovely. Yeah, we did that very well. Despite, obviously, uh, allowing the uh, monster to power everybody up. Obviously, you don't want to allow that. That's not very good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was mid-flamethrower. Scorcher, I should say. Okay, I've got to end the video soon. So we'll uh, try and get a few things unlocked, reach a uh, checkpoint. And then I'll have to end it for today. Or a safe spot, actually. Like an auto-save spot, I mean. Oh, hang on, look at that. Nearly left that behind. Don't want to be doing that, do we? It seems like you get a little bit of money and then you randomly get a massive chunk when you defeat like a mini-boss or like a main boss. And that's how you actually upgrade all your weapons. Feels like all the little bits of money you find around the uh, map don't really accumulate to enough to do anything, really. Well, I suppose they do after a, enough time passes and you connect, collect enough bags. Because you do find those chests that have like 300 in them, but it just feels pointless until you reach a boss. I don't know. I'll take it. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Oh. Must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. <laughs> Who cares if he does mind? What's he gonna do? He's not here. I'm gonna switch back to the rifle because uh, I still prefer the rifle. It's good though, because when you run out of uh, rifle ammo, you can switch over to the crossbow. But because I've upgraded the rifle at the moment, it's just better. Hits harder, does more damage. And when I shoot the weak spots, I get refunded a bullet as well, so that's good. Alright, I'm going to end the video now. I think I'll get like a safe spot around here, so yeah. Thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, let's hopefully you enjoyed this video. I think this uh, video went very well. Uh, we did miss a couple of uh, collectibles at the start of this video when we was in the forest because I think I jumped down a bit too quick when I was talking about Call of Duty. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I think it went very well. I mean, we took down the Parasite of Boss in one and that guy's a bastard. So uh, that was flipping good. Nearly died a few times, but we got, we got through it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.